We've got a great, great group with me tonight. Uh, Michaela, Peter, bring your kids up. This is about you, so come on Go up. Ahead. <coughs> I want those kids to introduce themselves. You know they've been all right. waiting all night talking, right? That's right. Tell us your name, buddy. Let's My see. name's Michael. Okay, Michael. Okay, there's Michael. And you, sweetheart? My name's Genevieve. Genevieve, there we go. All right. And then we were told Peter's not even going to introduce himself. His wife's going to do all the talking, right? Oh, right. just give her the thing. Absolutely. And Genevieve and Michael, they're four and eight, and they have attended two expos already. So at this last one, if you saw them running around, yes, yep. those are my kids. And we start early. We don't do Little League. We do rehab. <laughs> right. All right, so tell us about yourself professionally. How did you find lifestyles? Those okay. kind of things. Okay, born and raised in Nebraska, came down here after um, Peter and I got married up there and we did undergrad, did grad school, uh, came down here and worked as an occupational therapist. Um, Peter is in banking. We moved down here. He caught the flying bug. I told him that wasn't in our marriage contract, <laughs> that he needed to be nine to five, okay? Like I didn't sign up for this. Anyway, Peter started putting uh, radio shows on of real estate investing because I'm more of the donkey in the relationship. So that means when it comes to change, I'm the one leaning backwards with my hooves in the ground, resisting change, praying. I'm completely against it. And he's like a cheetah with prey in his mouth going <laughs> towards change. And he's super excited. So we've been listening to these radio shows. We, um, at the time we came to our first Lifestyles uh, weekend with David, Michael was 14 months and Genevieve was like four years old and we had to pay a babysitter to stay with the kids the entire time. And um, I was very uncomfortable. I'll just admit it. I left several times during the two day because I grew up, you pay off your house. I mean, I paid off my, my graduate loans, all my doctoral loans were done. Like, I mean, the house was paid for. I even have the photo of us at the bank with the, the deposit slip of the paid off house. I was like hugely pregnant, right? But it was like the right thing to do. And so I was at the two day here. I was very uncomfortable. I left several times to go out and walk out. So what outside. you learned is you will be uncomfortable if you're a female in my seminar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, I even went back to the back room. I don't know, Don. I remember staying and standing next to you during the multifamily part, and I was like, "Yo, is this real?" <laughs> I go. For real. Okay, here. You don't even you don't you don't have to you don't even have to say it loud. Just whisper. Whisper it in my ear. This is this is not a this is fake, right? He's like, no. He he was just cool and calm. It's real. <laughs> and so anyway, the two day was over. I was still super uncomfortable because I don't like change, but I had seen where real estate investors they get less on their taxes. I was sick of working on the weekends at the VA to help support. We are working harder and harder and not getting the money back. So at the end of the two day, um, Peter's super excited, right? Obviously, because he's the cheetah. And I was very much not so excited because I didn't want to fork over the money because I'm like, Dave, I've got T-Rex arms. I don't like to pay for anything. Um, so we left, we left the seminar. We were five miles down the road and, um, we probably weren't speaking <laughs> to each other at this time. I could bet on that because Peter was tired of staying the same and I was very uncomfortable with change. And, um, once I think, once I get to the point where the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change, then I change. So I, I was just I was just mad. I was angry because I've got this doctorate degree, and what am I doing working? Thanks, Dave. My coworkers really thank you for my attitude change after that weekend. Just to let you know. Oh, I'm sure it was different. Huh? It was extremely different. 
But anyway, so we're like five plus miles down the road. We're heading back to Mansfield. He's angry. I'm angry. And then we decided to turn around and come back. And we joined up as pigs. And that was in December of 2017. And, um, and then that December, Peter told me he wanted to quit his job and go back to flying. That sounds like a great idea, right? Uh, with little ones. And so we didn't do anything for a couple of years. Um, just to let you know, before we joined Lifestyles, we did have two rental properties that we had bought in 2017 prior to coming to Lifestyles. And if we had bought those properties after coming to Lifestyles, we could have totally like paid for the pig membership and all the mistakes we made. So much better to do it with a mentor and a road map and all the education. So, so, and that's important. So some of you might already have rentals. You will learn so much this weekend. It'll just like blow you away. Cause I, I know Jack had a bunch when he came here and it, it's just, you will learn so much. And even if you already have rentals, you will run them better. And they'll call you an idiot if they don't. I won't call you an idiot, only if you're an Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then the, the third house we bought, um, besides our own, was in 2020 during the pandemic. And then this that, past... That's the one we're going to highlight. Yes, that's, Let, that's the one we're going to highlight. Yeah, and most of our houses are built in the 50s. Let's take a quick look at this. Okay, yep. Do you want little me? rehabs here, yeah. Okay. I usually don't put a lot of rehab pictures up, but I did put six up from this one. You guys did a phenomenal job on it. Um, these are the original Thank cabinets. You. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Those are the same cabinets. You don't have to over rehab. Does that look a lot better? Oh, yeah. Give them a hand. That's good. Best product, best okay. price. There you go. Although I would have kept that green blank, black splash. Wait, wait till we get to the bathroom, right? I oh, mean, look at that. Look at the bathrooms here. Money green complete transformation and then the great room i mean where the heck am i pointing all right so simple upgrades if you notice on the left there's paneling if you notice on the right the paneling's painted right you don't have to go above and beyond on these you just have to go to what it needs yep. to be okay you guys yeah. followed the map you did a phenomenal job right i figured if the cabinets have already lasted 70 years yep. they can last a little longer that's right. That's right. So let's take a look at the numbers on it. Right, this is the one on Blossom. Um, appraised value was 190, but you came in and you bought it at 123. Right? Yep. This was a blast from Michon. Okay. A blast is when our our real estate agents with Lifestyles Realty send you properties. Okay. So you can be sitting at home or at work, and you just reach back out and say, "I'm interested." This one's in Dallas. We actually have two in Dallas in the same neighborhood of just a yeah, few. The question was, where is it? So, excellent. So, you know, working again through the numbers. All fixed up, it's worth 190. Came in and bought it for 123. Rehab was 38. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, closing cost, 15,000. That's pretty, uh, that's two closes, okay? So they came in with some equity, $13,500, roughly a 25% uh, return on capital gain. This one cash flows looks like 500 bucks a month, just over. You can tell when you have a type B personality when there's decimal points. Yeah, and 84 cents. And 84 cents. Those 84 cents are very important, right? We love our yes. type Bs. Yeah. All right, 11.2% cash on cash return. Excellent job. And we could bought two more this year, one before the ice storm and one after the ice storm. So two And you notice they did this during COVID. They weren't scared at all. Give me a hand for doing that. Still making money. You keep that. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about the fun part. Okay. They have a, a blossoming portfolio, right? <laughs> Where are we at? There we go. Okay, so here's the portfolio. We have equity position of $168,200. Now the top two, Cardinal Mansfield Road and LaSalle, you are in the process of doing what? Cash out refi. Cash out refi, right? So when she pulls money out, how much tax is she going to pay? No, right. None. It's a loan. All right. Now that came about from a conversation that we had. She is smart. You are too. I, I just haven't <laughs> talked to her. But she's smart. After the expo, she got all excited. She hit me up at the expo, said, I don't know what to do. I'm running out of money. I said, well, give me a call. We'll go over your portfolio. We went over the portfolio. How much do you own your house right now? Uh, we have a HELOC of 90 you that we use. a tiny HELOC. Right? Tiny HELOC. The house is in Mansfield, so it's worth like $350,000. Yeah. 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 And it's Dave Ramsey, folks, right? Paid off except for a very small HELOC. 
So we're going to pull out $150,000 off the residence, right? Yeah, it's not listed up there. But it's yeah. not It's not listed up there, but just you're going to get 150000 out of that one in cash. That's paying off the HELOC, by the way. And you're going to pull out another 67 plus 75, so you're going to walk away with $287,000. And what are you going to do with it? Invest it. Yay. There's your pee in your pants excited right there. there right? Here's, see how excited she gets? I love it. Yes. Are so, you, but they're making an extra 36 grand a year tax free. Give them a hand. That's huge. That's nice, Chuck. I just want to make sure he got a few words in. Oh, okay. No, you don't oh, have to. Oh. I get it. You want to talk? Oh. Pilots don't talk a whole lot, but but I am very excited. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Women power. <laughs> we were talking earlier. I mean, He's got a background in banking, right? Yeah. A quarter million dollars, that's life-changing for a lot of people, it right? Is, it it's going to be life-changing for you, Absolutely. right? You go and you double that. 250 becomes half a million, half a million becomes one. Yeah. One becomes two, two becomes four. That's only four times. We're talking four, maybe eight years, right? <laughs> then you only have to make a 10% cash on cash return on four million bucks. That's 400 grand a year. And what did you tell me you were going to do? You didn't say you were going to fly. What did I say? It's good. Oh, sleep. Yeah, they, yeah he's going he's to sleep. <laughs> he's going to sleep. That's right. He's like, what am I supposed to say? Here? <laughs> yeah. You talk about so much stuff you don't remember. Right. Okay. So tell us what's next. I, you sent me some change slides, and I forgot to change them. I'm sorry. Oh, so, that's okay. Yeah. No worries. Go ahead. Um, basically, uh, how it's changed our life, um, we can... We've got options. I was hurt on the job about three years ago, and because we had the passive income, it wasn't as big of a deal. Um, and I want to be able to stop working at the VA. I love my veterans, but the commute is killing me. Um, so just something closer to home. I want to become a real estate professional, spend more time with the kids, teaching them this stuff. And um, Peter wants to fly, and I want to use his flight benefits to go to the beach. <laughs> There you go. Yes. All right. So coming up next. Yes. You've got a quarter million to play with now. Yes. That's just going to snowball into more and more. So what's yes. coming next? What? Okay. Do you want to actually talk? Yes. We want right. to hear All from right. you. All right. I guess I'll say something. Yeah, yes. Permission. Okay. Okay. So next for us is uh, we're looking at about, probably be looking at acquiring about five single families or so, five or six to add to our portfolio. And, uh, and then we're going to also re-up our membership for the pigs so we can start really getting into some multifamily. So that's that's the goal in the next six months. Cool. Yep. And of course, all the normal life things are happening. Normal life, right? <laughs> now, you've Thank talked you. about change being hard. We've yes. talked two times since we had our initial yes. conversation. Are you going to go after multifamily? It's being recorded. I just needed. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. And I have picture. We have pictures of the kiddos up here in just like during a complete repipe of a single um, family home. And I mean, they're. I mean, Michael's asleep during one of my walkthroughs. <laughs> I mean, you can have kids. You can have other obligations and go run around and do houses and properties and mm -hmm. check them out even with rolling three deep it you can still do yeah, it yeah they're, they're both working full time they made the time to do this don't say you don't have time you make time it's a big thing Powerful. exactly and then genevieve's play, favorite place to go is uh floor and decor <laughs> to help pick out the next stuff for our new houses uh-huh and we need a bigger house because we've got too much leftovers from projects in the garage. Okay, cool. All uh, right. Well, not yet. You don't get to give it back yet. You've got some people you want to say thank you to, right? Yes. We've got um, team up here. All right. So we worked with uh, Greenworks Inspection. Straight Line did our foundation. And kudos to Straight Lines for bringing donuts to our kids during different walkthroughs. Oh, yeah. Sugar. That's great. Absolutely. And Noble Mortgage, thank you to Miss Michonne for helping us with this. Fred Lynch for doing the rehab for us and putting up with my late night phone calls about changes. Sure. Um, and also, uh, we also couldn't have done this without um, our mother-in-law. We moved my mother-in-law in, and she's helped as well. And so it's really been a family team effort, and I'm really grateful. 
There you go. And thanks, okay. Chris, for giving us the push to to refinance our house, uh, which would have not, not have happened a few years ago. Absolutely. Do we want to take questions? Yeah, we can take one or two. Can I have a question real quick? Hey, John, what's up? <laughs> my question is... Here, let me, let me get a microphone because people can't hear you out there. My question is to you little guys. Now, remember when y'all came in, I told your dad to be sure and get y'all some good snacks. Did your dad do that? Yeah, it's a school night. Lots of sugar. I'll help you. They're off tomorrow. Oh, they're off tomorrow. They're off tomorrow. They're off tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. Any online or no? Good. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh, we got one. We got one. Hold on. Oh, are you guys self-managing? Yes. Yep. So they made the time to self-manage. Great question. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you all so much. Appreciate you guys giving back. Give Chris a hand as well.